gentleman from Florida, Mr. Bill Arrakis. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. I appreciate it. Congratulations again. And, uh, this was an outstanding uh, roundtable. I really appreciate all the testimony and presentations. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to be very brief because I know we have others. Uh, I, my question is with regard to pipeline infrastructure and the process, the permitting process. Uh, it's affecting my state of Florida with regard to the prices. I think we have a 42 percent uh, increase over the average, the national average. Uh, any recommendations on how we can increase? I know uh, permitting is very, very important, obviously. Uh, any recommendations you might have with regard to pipeline infrastructure? Because we don't have the access that we should have uh, in, in the southeast. So uh, I'd like somebody to take that question. I appreciate it. Well, I, I can uh, address that. Um, one of the very first things that we saw um, President Biden do when he came into office was cancel the Keystone Pipeline. Uh, so it starts at the very top. Um, we have to have some direction from the administration that they encourage the transportation of fuel around the country, but there's been no sign of that. Um, it's not just with permitting, it's with all sorts of different levels of regulations and threats made by this administration, whether that's the endangered species or making it harder to drill on federal lands. Uh, they're looking at every single thing they can do to stop the use of fossil fuels. Um, just yesterday, the Consumer Product Safety Commission came out with a report that they're going to ban new um, natural gas stoves. Uh, they're determining what kind of fuel you can use in your house, what kind of stoves you can cook with, what kind of cars you can drive. Uh, this is a personal intrusion that's happening across America into your personal lives, into your homes. Uh, so it, 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 permitting is one of the biggest issues that we have to get that transported around the, the country. But uh, when they're going into your home and telling you how you can cook and what cars you can drive, um, where you can, uh, you know, what kind of uh, federal agencies can use natural gas and which can't in their buildings, uh, this is a real concern. So it's at every level that we have to be looking at. Thank you very much. I yield back. Thank you. Thank you, Gus. Gentleman from Ohio, 